Yo, hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome to our first look at Immortal Tactics War of the Eternals. Today's episode is sponsored by the devs, the makers of this game that really reminds me a lot of a Sega Genesis style game with a little bit of, well, as it would imply, tactics, right? Turn-based strategy and, of course, medieval combat. One thing that I've been seeing a lot, a lot, a lot now and that's really good, is a ton of games that are in this pixelated art style that are just coming out as real bangers. Games that are going back to the 90s, either being on console or PC, with great music, awesome gameplay, and art styles that are really unique and retro in many ways. Here we have our adventure army going to the wildlands. We have our level one, uh, I guess you could call him a paladin or a swordsman or a footman. We also have our archer and our wizard so we're going to go ahead and go with these guys on a new adventure today in immortal tactics so welcome aboard and thanks for joining me special note by the way you can play this game today for free if you'd like to you can try out the demo on steam just look for immortal tactics you can add it to your wish list or you can get it when it fully comes out which is uh well hopefully now you can add it to your wish list and give it a try on the demo and pick it up if you'd like to. It's actually quite unique and reminds me a lot of other games that I've played, but has its own style to it too. Let's get into the Wildlands and let's start our new adventure. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start a fresh one and we'll start with the basic difficulty and so it begins. Oh, nice. Wind condition, defeat all required. Minimal damage, oh, that seems to be like a bonus for us. Take a total of three or less damage to all your allied units. This is war. Defeat all enemies in the game and leave no enemy units alive. There's actually a unique story to the game as well that I'll show off at some point too throughout this video. That kind of goes a little bit more into detail about what's going on in this world and who's at war and why, etc, etc. There's also a change to the landscape too, of course, like things, for example, the swamp tile will stop us from moving through it well you know like for example slow us down cost more movement points or we can't move through it at all so definitely a gritty grimy world and uh i like it not to mention some pretty chill music too until things start popping off right now we're in the movement phase so we can only move around the map we can't attack just yet but you can see here that we'll be able to do a sword slash in our next turn so we can either choose to wait where we're at or reposition ourselves to get ready to deal with other enemies. Looks like we got somebody who's a uh, ranged attacker in the north, uh, to the west, or just, I guess, to our left, we have ourselves two ranged attackers. Looks like somebody here with a mace and a big O tree that I don't want to go anywhere near. Uh, let's go ahead and back up over this way and see if we can guard our ranged attackers. So the wizard is ranged, the uh, archer is ranged, and, of course, our uh, paladin here, whatever you would call him, is a melee attack soul cleansing heals all your units for four health it gives them health regeneration which lasts for three turns Ooh, interesting now we'll probably use that in the next turn or whatnot pretty cool all right let's go ahead and i guess wait all we're good to go now it's our attack phase so let's get rid of this little worm looks like kind of like a rat or something i have no idea dead now though Oof! get wrecked on to the wizard Ooh, that's a big boy right there, the uh, big old Groot. Uh, let's see, we can't attack from there. But the archer can. Good hit. All right, let's see, Scorching Blaze. I wonder if we could use it on the ground and block enemies. Ah, uh, we can't, darn. That would have been cool if we could actually set up like a uh, area for attack or something like that. Or rather, like defense by area of denial. All right, mobile phase for the enemy. They now get to move into position. Are these crystals enemies? Gems. Precious gem that gives the unit additional skill. One health when retrieved. Oh, we got to walk all the way over there to do that? No, thank you. Okay, time for us to move again. I think we'll go ahead and stay exactly where we are with our people in the positions in which we'll probably give them the best defense. Let's go ahead and wait all. And now our attack phase. Let's attack Groot. Get Rex, sir. Wizard, let's light him on fire. Nice, so we can attack through. Oh, man. The uh, kill animations are awesome. Very nice. And let's also take out 
this little fella here. Oh, looks like he's down to about half health. Ooh, a hit. Uh oh. Nicely uh, displayed, too, is all the stats of our allies, so we don't necessarily have to hover over and kind of do the constant calculations of where everybody's at. And there's also half health points, too, so we can take half damage. So if you think about it, some of these characters almost have six health uh, if they only are taking a little bit of damage per attack. Uh, I think we're good here. I'm actually going to move up here, actually, just a little bit. And I'm not sure if direction facing has anything to do with uh, damage, so let's go ahead and hold here. Let's go ahead and have our paladin attack. If we can. Nice. Definitely some real, uh, I don't know what you'd call it. I was going to say grimy cl uh, quotes or something like that, but just definitely uh, kind of a darker uh, thing to say every once in a while. Boy, the wizard really doesn't have a lot of range, does he? I want to kind of keep him in the back, though. Status is normal, no ailments. Oh, but here, check that out. Level upgrades. Mystic healing uh, and health up and different levels through 10 different attacks and such. Very nice. It seems like a simple game on the surface for sure, but I think that we're about to see a lot more complexity here shortly. Okay, let's get this guy out of the way. We should be able to do quite a bit of damage here. Oh, we're uh, going to go ahead and wait on all. I think we're in a good spot here. Especially with the wizard. Let's attack with him first. Oh, nice. Let's finish him off. And to level up. Oh, there we go. Turn order. Enemy reinforcements. Interesting. Ooh, good kill. Enemy reinforcements are here. Not bad, actually. It gives us a chance to go and get some of that, uh, some of the gems. And also lets us grind out XP on lower level enemies. So, not always uh, necessary to complete a uh, battle as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and move forward now. Oh, the wizard can only move one at a time. All right, let's go ahead and go for our ranged attacker. And let's wait. Oh, actually, we have the ability to heal. Why not? Ooh, pack attack. Didn't realize they were there. Okay, let's go ahead and push forward. Nice, added some health too. Uh, we'll move... Actually, we'll stay right here. We'll have the wizard move. Finish off the archer. Oh, Nice hit. And finish off the enemies here. Oh, looks like they don't get to get the uh, gems. That's good. Gems can stay here only for us. I like that. Actually, let's move one more if we can. Oh, is there an undo, perhaps? Okay, I don't see an undo. That would be helpful, though, to move back and... Well, there it is. Boom. Ask and you shall receive. Very nice to see that. It's almost as if the game knew I goofed up. Oh, no, I shouldn't move that close. Oh, beautiful. That works wonderful. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and hold all. Enemy reinforcements should be soon. Maybe. But not needed. Aww. Chilling death scenes of the enemy. Great music. Eerie atmospheres. What more could you ask for? And some XP too. Explore the next area. Alright, missions 1-1. One, one. Turns 1-7. One, Adventure kills 9. Areas cleared 1. Go to the next one. Our environment tests your army with its strength to see if you're worthy to defeat the Celestial Void and release the innocent souls from this area to their freedom. Many areas to go through, mostly wooded here. Possible boss battle with a snake? No, probably not. We're moving from clearing to clearing, though, until we get to what seems to be a giant cave, and 
You know what's in giant caves? A bear, probably. Great. Let's keep on trucking. All right, wind conditions, survival, and kill count, and minimal damage. Okay. You're outnumbered. Escape by surviving nine turns and wait for help to arrive. Ah, so there's no end to this one until we survive that long. There's a curious lever in the middle of the map. Interesting. A couple of uh, ranged attackers in the south, one in the north, one in the, the west there. Oh, boy. And soul cleansing. We could use this too, but haven't needed to so far. And everybody's got all their health back. We stay put or move forward? I think we should move. Uh, pal, who are you? Wait, are you with us now? Are you just you showing up out of nowhere? Oh, okay. Well, we'll have the wizard fry your ass. And a good level up. We have new attacks now. Massive cleave or sword slash. Uh, wields your sword to uh, wields your sword and inflicts two damage to three units together that are adjacent to you. I wonder if you can use it if there's just two. We'll wait here. Archer taking a little damage. What the hell? What? What? Is Groot like calling on the power of the force to help out? Oh, what are these here? Fine tile. Unit, oh, when a winning unit ends their move on this hex, that unit receives half damage from the hex. Oh, interesting. It's only if they're standing there. Curious. I think we're good on all. Let's go ahead and hold the line. Looks like we can also only use this special attack once. So we better just keep using the other attack. Alright, Groot is out of the way. Nice. Wonder if it says what these enemies truly are. Wow, they don't like the wizard, do they? Oh, an environmental phase. That's what that is. Uh, let's see. Crippling spirits on holy grounds become engulfed on its own dark ways, which will deal one damage and adds cripple status to any unit on it for one turn. Oh, interesting. All right, I wonder if the wizard can... Uh, let's actually hold here. This is a really good defensive position. Enemies will kind of have to come straight to us in order to attack, except for, the, of course, the arranged attackers there that are being real annoying. Let's move down here, though, to kind of avoid this guy. And we should be able to hold. And move on to attacking. Nice to see the XP. Oh, we have a ability to heal with the archer. Gather strength and fires bow to a gust of wind, inflicting half damage to a unit and knocking them back one tile if possible. If not, it deals an extra one and a half damage. That's a lot of damage. Let's try it out. Ooh, was that a miss? Uh-oh. Wow, enemy reinforcements? My goodness. Oh, they're having bad times. What does that lever do? Land to move on this to activate the lever and allow your archers to advance and attack your enemies, dealing one damage to all of them. Oh, really? I should have looked at that before. Uh, let's see. Oh, he's got the uh, crippling move, so he can't move. We're good, we'll hold. Have the wizard do some healing. And what is this? Finesse Mastery. 
15% chance to evade attack. Interesting. Well, we gotta try to stay alive here if possible. Shattering Pierce. Pierces through the armor and shatters the unit, dealing two damage and inflicting weak weakened status, which adds one more damage to the unit whenever it's attacked. Oh, hello. So this now gives us a buff to where we can counterattack if the enemy's close enough. Wow. That is just damage simulator. Whoa, okay. Uh, and the wizard's down. Oh, boy. It says one above his head. Maybe we can revive. Well, we can use that cleave action now. Go ahead and wait with everybody. Massive cleave. Nice. Very cool. Oh, poison. He dropped a uh, poisoned uh, thingy. Not sure if we can revive him. It might be possible. Any archers, ma'am. It does look like the wizard went to zero for some reason and disappeared. I'm not entirely sure if he's dead in these types of games. Who knows? He'll be out to lunch for all I know. Wow, look at that. One, two, three, four, five archers. Here they come. Let's see, let's heal our friend here. See if he can make it through. Now this might only fire arrows if we had an archer, so we'll have to see if we can last long enough. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Uh-oh. Life has always been ruled by the gods. With a constant struggle and fight amongst them, this is what brings balance to the world and retains the world as how it should be, full of love, compassion, yet full of death and sin. Then the celestial void came to the world to bring nothingness and cleanse all meaning and understanding from existence. For the celestial void, it is better to know nothing than to feel suffering. Boy, how wonderful. <laughs> the celestial void corrupted weaker beings to believe its twisted idea and hopelessness. The beings of the world were manipulated to bring destruction and a false sense of meaning across all nations. The gods realized if the void succeeds in corrupting the world, it would ultimately destroy the world they rule over. The celestial, they teamed up against the celestial void to restore balance to the world. And that's kind of the story of Immortal Tactics. Well, the AI rage quit on me that uh, last time there, but at least it allowed us to jump back to the story, which goes by rather quickly. But essentially, that explains a lot of the madness going on here. And our characters now bop back down to level one. We'll give it another shot here as we kind of take a look at a little bit more 
in the game, but we'll start a fresh new adventure. I think everyone before was like level three and two or whatnot, but we'll jump back to the woodlands where our friend here is just hanging out. And so it begins again. So I've got to say, I really am impressed with a lot of the environments in this game, the sounds and uh, the strategy as well. And it feels like such a small game, you know? It's, it feels like the, the map here is just like a, a very small area, but then you realize by the uh, attack range of your characters currently that things are much different. Back on the main menu, there was also the ability to change some of your characters and look at the units, and we'll jump back there in a minute or two if we succeed in this battle. I was really looking forward to the second battle. I think we did quite well in our first, and the second one was going okay, but uh, obviously you don't want anybody to die to death. And I'm kind of curious to see what would happen after your first uh, adventure. You know what I mean? After maybe losing someone or, or two or three. All right, let's see here if we can uh, attack that character. Yeah, I wonder if we can actually have more than three. It looks like we're kind of pre-designed to have three. But anyway, we're ready with the characters here. Looks like the archers are maybe destroying the environment in order to get XP. Ooh, and Groot here taking some damage this time around. Looks like there's about as many archers as there was before. This game holds no punches, man. No holds barred on this one. Now, let's see. I think this is a pretty good setup. All right, let's go ahead and attack. Wow, already leveling up. Perfect. Well, we'll get caught up right where we were very quickly. Archer taking a good hit, and I think everybody's a little too out of range for the wizard. The wizard slaps, ma'am. Don't go anywhere near that wizard. They're probably going to attack him as soon as they can. They've attacked the uh, archer first, but those ranged characters, they literally just hit different. Able to deal half damage at a time, but there's a few of them, and so not being able to retaliate is a bad time. Go ahead and block for these two. We'll have everybody wait. Let's take out Groot. Down to a health and a half. Down to a half health, and down to zero. All right, everybody's level two, great. Now we've got new abilities to utilize. If you remember in our previous battle, our archer gets the ability to heal passively at the end of each turn, and our wizard, I think, can heal on the spot, and that's gonna be needed pretty No, I don't think that's going to be a good move either. We go down. That's the only way to save ourselves, possibly. We heal ourselves. Oh, let's try it. No, too, too far out of range. Ooh, nice. Groot is on fire. He's burning, baby. And now we have the massive cleave ability, which should clear out a couple of these enemies. Nice. Great damage. Two archers to go, plus Groot. All right.
Alright, time to get the archer out of there if we can. Good. Alright, hopefully this will help us take out the archer, which is very dangerous. Oh, we're not able to actually. But we'll keep our archer alive. There we go, the wizard does have his lightning storm ability. Interesting. A new ability I haven't seen before, now being level 3. Alright. But the ability to utilize the bow and arrow. Let's use that on Groot. Enemy's turn. A little damage to the wizard. Nowhere really to run here. Alright, attack. Beautiful, taking down the big boy, and let's try the electrical storm. Not as much damage as I was hoping. Uh, we have the ability to use a extra damage arrow. Let's go ahead and try to heal again. Just in case. Enemy's turn. Shot on the wizard. And finishing off the archer. Fantastic. Okay, well that was uh, much cleaner than our first time. Oh, two missions won now in total. I guess that, that first one uh, that we played a while ago, and then we didn't complete that second mission, unfortunately, but now turns one, great. Perfect. I wonder if this area will be any different. Well, so far so good again. Open the gate. Oh, we are required to open... Operate all levers to open the gate. Gem hunt. Collect all mythical gems. Wow, okay. This is going to be challenging. Two levers that I can see so far. And two gems that I can see so far. Archers have got to go right away. They're too much of a problem. Let's bring the uh, wizard nearby. Archer 2. And our paladin to lead the way. Our knight. Very nice. Leveling up the wizard close to uh, level four, about halfway. And the knight's good to go. Archer there needs to be cleared out of the way. Oh, now the goblin blocking our path. Luckily they have some hazards to get through before they uh, can come through. I think we're good to hold. Enemy reinforcements soon? I'm sure. Nobody nearby. Minimal damage. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's good. No good damage far away from us. That's fine. That's totally fine by me. Good work. Of course. The environment... Oof. The environment now taking its attack on us. Go for the archer there. And we'll try to keep everybody together. Looks like a storm of arrows coming in. Our attack phase to clear out the archer. Okay. Even though everyone's dead, we still have the goals to complete. That's good. Everybody's dead, that's the good part. We still need to wait, yes. Of course. The 
problem with enemy reinforcements is they could come in from anywhere. And as you can see, we went from clear to surrounded in one turn. Uh, I'm not sure what this means. I think this means there's no undo if we do this. Ah, uh, boy. I wish I could get this guy down here. I'd like to put the archer in front, but we can't. So let's uh, go for the lever. Okay, that was nice. That gives us the archer attack. Alright, cool. Gotta do that one more time. And we'll grab the uh, gem. Go for another lightning attack if we can. Nah, that's gonna hurt our characters. Fireball then. Keep him far away. Like Doctor. Alright, not so bad. Now we just have the Archer to deal with. Down here. Hitting the wizard in the face. Lovely. Now we're going for the other... Lever and gem. Wow, wizard now level four. And this enemy is burning, so they'll do a little bit of uh, suffering for that. Never mind, they're dead. Okay. Full cleansing soon, soon. Environment phase. As you could imagine, arrows again. Go straight for the archer. Oh, I should have moved up here, actually. My mistake. I'm not allowed to undo, though. Unfortunate. The wizard uh, should be able to buff out, though. Oh, good! And using that ability, actually will give us um, an extra level. So everyone's now level four. Great. Excellent. The archer was the furthest behind. Okay, going for the lever. Which I think we could hold on. Just in case the enemy gets reinforcements. We'll have the wizard go down. Or we'll go for our gem. We'll make we'll make sure we get the gem first. Enemy reinforcements may need to be cleared. I was hoping it wouldn't uh, end until we cleared all the enemies, but that's okay. Two missions, one. Turns, one, eight. Adventure kills. Explore next area. Let's go. Wow, that's only the third area. And even more to do. Save the week. Environment observer. Time is ticking. Oh. Boy. I got people just hanging out over here having marshmallows. That's fine. Well, this situation looks bleak. Oh, are we supposed to protect the... Oh. Is that say Caddy the Cat or Ratty the Cat? Protect and save this unit. Any attack will kill the unit. Protect the unit from the dangers in the field. Oh, we got to protect a kitty? Oh, man. This game is brutal. Could you imagine losing it? Obviously going through different areas and whatnot. Here's some of the things that uh, we haven't seen yet for... The leader units, things like uh, soul cleansing, which you saw during the battle, the divine leader, and then other things that we can get angel of death and other unit things that we can look at and unlock. Uh, just a few of them to go. We have our eternal saint, but also we brought our arcane mage 
and the archer and the knight along with us for our first run. Getting them up to level four with minimal stuff. Uh, the game did kind of have a little issue at one point, but honestly, not even a big deal as uh, I had the chance to either reload that or uh, start fresh. And it definitely, it, it, it is the type of game where you want to start and play again and again and again, especially with all the things that you'll unlock and all the achievements that you can achieve, which I don't even know how that one's unlocked. I've never found a chest in the game yet. But anyway, that is it, everybody, for today's episode of Immortal Tactics, War of the Eternals. You can get this again for free on Steam and test it out for yourself with the Steam Next Fest or just try it out at any time with the demo available. Add it to your wish list and check it out with the links in the description or check it out on Steam today. Thank you again, everyone, for joining for our sponsored video today. And this is definitely the type of game that I've been loving to see more and more where the art style or rather the graphics are uh, art style that bring all sorts of eeriness and creepiness and I really appreciate that and i hope to see more games just like this with uh, kind of dark and grim settings but yet where you feel powerful is the more and more destruction you do the more and more important your characters are and then of course there's always one that ends up getting died to death and then it's a bad time well this game is certainly a good time so again check it out today thank you again everyone for all your support uh, the demo will be available until june 20th by the way an early access release is on July 15th. So if you're watching anywhere in 2022 and it's past July 15th, well, there you go. It's out already. There's also going to be a roadmap for the game too, so make sure you check that out on their Steam store page, which shows all the updates planned after early release. And there's gonna be much more updates coming for the game. And of course, probably some things suggested by the community. All right, well, enjoy. Send me some screenshots on Twitter of you uh, kicking butt getting your uh, levels up high on Immortal Tactics and show me the characters that you've made and have s unlocked different skills. I'm curious to see. Thank you again, everyone, for dropping in. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.